Now, why not sell 100% and just wait, Tom? You just showed us all this crazy stuff that is happening. Well, look, because of this, if you missed the best 10 days in the stock market for the past 20 years, you have slashed your return by 50%. And I don't want to hear this thing about what if I missed the worst 10 days? There is no way to miss the worst 10 days. There is no guaranteed way to do that. There is a guaranteed way not to miss the top 10 days by staying in the market. So don't comment me this bullshit, which I always get in the comments. Now, look, we saw a very high PE right, right now and it's concerning, but it's one element. There's a lot of other elements Right? We haven't even talked about here because people have a narrative and maybe the narrative is that, you know, the market is about to crash. What about credit spreads? What about earnings? What about liquidity? What about macro? What about market internals? There's a lot of stuff happening that are beyond the narrative that we are about to crash. And right now I'll show you, it's not a clear cut answer whether we're in a bubble or not. There may be many different scenarios out here. Credit spreads. Basically, this is the difference between how much money you're getting on the treasuries, which is risk-free, assumed risk-free, and the corporate bonds. Basically, how much risk the market is pricing in. And that difference, that spread, shows you how much insurance is costing. If insurance fees are high, that means that the market is expecting a crash, right?